All right, so here's the plan today. Uh, welcome, everybody, to uh, Dwarf Fortress Monday, by the way. Um, so today's plan. Uh, if you've been watching these on the YouTube channel, you may be a little bit confused uh, because I didn't upload last week's stream because we had lots of crashes and uh, it was just all kinds of unpleasant. Um, anyways, two weeks ago, we started building a pirate ship. And the pirate ship was going quite well. The only thing we've happened was I kind of forgot things like uh, proper defenses. And once the uh, two dozen undead things showed up, we were pretty much done for. So, um, since we played last week and built a little bit of a fort, which we made it like... I can't remember if we made it just one year or maybe two years of game time. Uh, but in that time, our old pirate ship should not be infested with undead anymore. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go back... And we're going to reclaim the pirate ship and um, finish it up. I'm kind of bummed that we didn't get to properly finish it last time. So uh, that's what we're going to do this time. I want to get... Um, the problem was last time we, we had everything off of the boat. Like, all, a lot of important things were off the boat. Uh, of course, obviously, all of our stone mining and, um, like, our booze production and our farming was all off the boat. And so when we got attacked, uh, we were pretty much hosed. What I'd like to do is get everything on the boat, like the farm. Get the farm on the boat, that's fine. Um, maybe get some sort of fresh water. I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Um, and uh, all of our workshops on the boat. So if we do get attacked, no big deal because we're going to be on the boat, right? So that's the plan this time. So let's go ahead and get in here. We're going to do Dwarf Fortress, and we're going to reclaim the pirate ship. That is the plan anyways, and my chat is not working. Of course it's not. Chat never works. Chat, you work. Um, I always forget how to make it work. Chat, work. Hey, chat, work. Okay, so now we are in... Uh, what is that? That's fall? No, that's spring. Right? White is winter? I don't know. Okay, so... Um, so, anyways, so yeah, last time we, we built a fort... Where was it? Like, up here? Is this ours? I think this is ours. Yeah, this is ours. Which it was a it was a decent little fort, but it just had we had we had crashing issues, so we we didn't go too far with it. Um, but we have down here, which actually we can do it uh, reclaim. We have Thos Butsafon is our pirate ship, which we built off the coast over here, right next to the Necromancy Tower. You can see it right there, right across the ro the river, really. Um, which we made it a little over a year before the undead showed up. So, this time we're going to go reclaim it, and we're going to see if we can get a reasonable fort running here. Uh, this uh, Rizanurif is the one we did last time, um, which is uh, is inhabited. Okay, so anyways, to Thaw's Butsafon. Thaw's Butsafon. That's the name of the place. Okay. Reclaim. Now, I think our first goal is going to be... Oh, should we prepare? I think I want to prepare. I do want to prepare a little bit anyways. Um, we want two copper battle axes. That's nice. All right, Anvil. Lots of beer. Now, um, we're going to be growing food on the boat. And that is not on the ground. That is above ground. So having things like plump helmet seeds doesn't really do us any good at all. So we're going to lose those. Um, we may actually keep the plump helmets just in case so we can throw something in the ground. But we're going to lose all of these. Dimple cups. We don't need any of those. Mmm, prepared sheep heart. Delicious. Pond turtle. We've got some plump helmets, which is fine. Uh, any food that we need, we can go scrounge up. Um, we can gather plants and scrounge those up and, um, and get some proper outdoor growing. Asparagus, apples, you know, whatever. Bucket splints, wheelbarrow, step ladder. Is there anything else that we want? Um... I think I want to bring some wood. Where is wood? Wood. All wood the same? Yes. We'll bring some ash logs. Actually, we have some good oak logs. Oak logs. Yes. How much do we have? Oh, we have tons of points. Yeah, we're going to bring lots of wood logs around to with us this time. Because uh, this place is not as forested as I wanted to begin with. 141 wood logs. That'll do. Um, I will bring a couple extra plump helmets, which... We'll bring, like... 
I mean, those cost, those cost four. We'll bring one of those. We'll bring an extra one of those. Um, actually, we should bring an extra beer, wine, and ale to give us an extra barrel. So let's do that instead. Fifteen pond turtles? I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. Okay, so beer, wine, and ale. We're going to make 21. That'll give us a full barrel, basically, of extra stuff. Uh, okay, that's good enough. Well, I don't want to prepare too much. You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding, forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Moothcat Kador. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plow, or hook. Provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to develop to delve secure lodgings ere the cheetahs get hungry. Well, last time I said lions, I think. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. Thaz Butzifon. Drilled Fountain. Strike the oath. Okay, so here is our pirate ship. Oh, another thing, uh, which is going to look a little bit strange, is I have changed over to the Obsidian tile set. Um, I was looking around, trying to figure some things out about the crashes, and uh, someone mentioned that they were having crashes as well, and they switched over to the Obsidian, and they didn't have any crashes, so we're going to try that. I'm, I'm, I'm up for anything. So, uh, things are going to look a little bit strange, and it is very interesting. I've never used this obsidian, obsidian. I've never actually seen obsidian before. It actually looks kind of nice, though. Look at the, the little blocks. You can see, like, the little blocks from the stone. It's cool. And the floorboards. I like it. It is kind of nice. Um, okay, so the first thing we need to do. Let's zoom out, actually, here. Uh, we're going to have to reclaim everything. We got our dwarves. Where's our caravan? Oh, it's right here. Great. So now we're, gonna, we're about to get washed away because the waves are going to come in here and just wash all of our stuff. It's going to scatter everything. Oy. Um, let's go ahead and make a custom stockpile of everything. Everything except for corpses and refuse. And let's put it... Should we just throw, go ahead and throw it on a boat? I think maybe we will. We're going to make this our farming area. We could throw it over here. We could remove this place and throw it everything in, inside here. There's a lot of junk out there. Let's just make it outside for now. I know that's my, the whole reason we're doing this is to not be outside. But let's just throw it out here first. So, everything can go there. Let's make sure there's no like, undead things here. There's nothing, nothing here. Excellent. Uh, we have a lot of dead and missing dwarves. Yeah. What happens? Was Shorest? Shorest was our king, I think, wasn't it? Is it Shorest or Seabrek? I don't remember which one it was. But here's our seven citizens, uh, which we should name. Um, let me pull up my list. Where is my list? The dwarf ship is still here. It's still in one piece. We'll see how long it lasts. We're, we're going to see if we can uh, not lose immediately. <laughs> All right, the old name list. Now, um, several of you are actually at the other one. I don't remember which ones are there, though. We can go ahead and copy them. We can put you over here, too, because we I mean, really didn't do anything on that side. Um, we want... Where are you at? I want Dwarf Therapist. I'm going to go ahead and save real quick. I'm going to save a lot, so what you, your job in chat today is to remind me to save, please. Lots of saving. I, I have a feeling we're going to have some crashes, just because, well, for one thing, we're playing Dwarf Fortress. That's one reason. All right, we have Burr. It's going to be... We're going to just use the name ones we used last time, but that's fine, because they are not really doing anything. Uh, oh, I should just copy and paste, shouldn't I? Isaac Seven, you are going to be what? You are my percussionist and a musician. Great. Yeah, that's exactly what we need in this fort. We have Bore here. As the... What are you? You are my bone carver and crafts dwarf. Excellent. We need one of those. Fath, you are Bug. Hopefully Bug can last a little bit longer this time. Last time he died pretty quickly in my tavern. You are a Law Dwarf. A weak Law Dwarf? An Observer and a Crafts Dwarf? Sure. 
Um, I will ask for names whenever we come to that point. Actually, I can go ahead and add you here. I got my list up, my list pulled up. Uh, Solar Dog is our. Which one are we on? Are we on this one. Is my carpenter, architect, and animal trainer. And then we have what's that? It's number five. Gribeye is now Moose Cat. Gribeye, what do you do? You are an observer, a student, and a chief medical dwarf. Excellent. Yeah, go ahead and give me your name and I'll, I'll add you since I have it opened up here. Karma Hound is a student, bone carver, and bookkeeper. Oh, good. Oh, you're the expedition leader. Eshton, that's right. I, I was about to say, I, I couldn't remember your dwarf name. But I remember. I remember you. Uh, Craft Dwarf, Armor User, Observer. Okay, Zolban. Let me add Eshton here. I have a few, a few more ahead of you, but... Uh, oh, another one. Kylas? Any more? He will probably get in there before too long. It depends on if we get any migrants. That was the other issue last time. Uh, we didn't get any. We didn't have any migrants show up, and I don't know. Some of you who are more familiar with the Warforged may know if it's because I mean, we have a dead, a dead civilization. There's no dwarves in in the world, um, or there's a very few dwarves in the world. Now, whenever you get migrants, they're already in the world, right? And they just sort of show up at your place. They don't just spawn in the world then. So if there are no dwarves in the world, then we won't get any migrants. Am I right? I don't... I'm not 100% sure, but it makes sense that way. Okay, uh, let me see if we have jobs here. So we're going to be grabbing things and throwing it over here. We need to go ahead and DB reclaim everything. So everything you see that is green, we're going to reclaim. Which is going to be lots and lots of stuff. So actually, let's just do it the easy way. We're going to click up here. And all the way over here. And then just go down. And reclaim all that. Okay. So this was... Oh, it looks so much different. I'm so not used to this tile set. Look at the gold. The gold looks fancy. The X's are a little strange looking. But it's cool. It's cool. It's kind of gritty. Let's see how everything is down here. We went... So we did actually make it to the... Um, didn't we? Did we make it to the... We made it to a cavern, right? I thought we did. There, oh, we actually can't see over there. We have to walk over there. You want a bigger? I can't stand big face cams. So you're going to get a small one and you have to deal with it. <laughs> like I watch some people and they're like, their face cams like a quarter of the screen. Like I don't want to see your face. I want to see the game. Uh, Seabrick has been found dead. We're, gonna get, we're going to be getting a lot of that. A lot of this guy has been found dead. <laughs> yeah, we just kill. We just toss the kids overboard. This is obsidian tile set. Okay, so we're gonna grab all of our junk and throw it into the pile here. Uh, we need to get some things going. So our, our first priority before we get farming. Well, maybe not. I say that. Maybe we should get some sort of farming going. I want to remove this workshop. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a wall up here, and we're gonna put a pump in this way. So we're gonna pump a bunch of water into the boat. It sounds like a bad idea. First off, it sounds like a bad idea by putting a hole in the boat. <laughs> That's the smallest of our problems. Then we're going to make a pump and, and squirt a bunch of water into our boat. It'll drain out, and then, but then we'll have mud that we can farm in. So we can actually farm in the boat um, and hopefully, um, yeah, farm in the boat. So we're going to remove that. Um, I think maybe. This is, oh, we actually have some helmets, uh, some plump helmets here. They look so strange looking. And then we have our stone stuff over here. Uh, let's go ahead and dig a little bit more. I mean, you guys aren't doing anything else anyways, right? Go ahead and dig this out. I'm actually tempted to put, like, a hatch cover on here. Not that I have any, though, because we haven't have anything yet. That one's still either for removal, of course. Where was this one at? Here, let's go to this one and make a hatch cover and cover this place up. Because I'm I'm scared about things attacking me. Okay, we'll make one of those. Do that now. We'll put a hatch cover on our stairs. So we'll, at least we'll keep this half of the base uh, somewhat uh, close. 
And then we're going to start making some blocks and get a wall set up. I want to get a wall set up pretty quickly. Um, this is my butcher's shop. He is butchering things. We have a, a fishery here. I want you to fish. Yes, please. Um, catch those fish. Um... This is our everything stockpile. We should move. Yeah, things are going to get washed away. They already are getting washed away. So if this is going to be our farm, we should have our food over here. I'm thinking about moving this carpenter shop. Maybe we should do that. We'll move that. What is this? We have a marble statue of a mog hopper. Okay. And we have... What? Oh, it's a, it's a kern. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a fancy... A native gold millstone. Oh, right. I forgot we made this thing. On the item, item on the item is the image of Seabrick, the dwarf native of gold. Yeah, we remember Seabrick. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any trees, is there? No, no trees. But we brought lots of wood, so that's okay. Okay, we'll let some things sort of run here. We got a lot of people being found dead. Hopefully, we'll keep an eye on the, on the happiness here. And hopefully, people will stay happy. I mean, they're going to be a little bit terrified because there's a lot of dead dwarves they're about to find. But we get some things moved over there. We got some folks that are going to be grabbing some plump helmets and some others that are going to be digging this out. You're making my... Wolf King is making my hatch cover, which is very good. Looks like he has it already, so we're going to build that, and we're going to put it on top of these stairs right there. And we may actually lock that, because I don't think there's any reason for us to be down there. There's a lot of clothes down there, though. We can grab all that anyways. Look, there's socks and shoes and... What is this? A large linen thong. <laughs> Wait, why is there a large linen... Wait a minute. No one in my... <laughs> why, would there... why would there be a large linen thong just laying around? Alright, don't ask questions. So yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to build a wall. Um, something out sort of like this, and out this way. Because I think we're going to need to keep... So if we do get attacked, we can keep this little area blocked off. Ideally, everything will be on the boat. But for now, we need to at least get a wall going. Um, to kind of keep ourselves a little bit safe. What are these gray things? Dry grass. Farming is fine. Um, the carpenter shop is still there. Yeah. It's still there, too. Oh, is the door locked? I bet it is. Oh, it is. There we go. That'll help things. Uh, we're going to make, we're gonna have to reset everything here. So the bedroom is going to be reset. To be that. And this is going to be a, a dormitory. Okay. And we have the dining room over here. Kind of tiny. Meeting hall, yes. And we can also make this a location. We, last time we had it as a tavern. We may need to, because I don't think we're going to get anybody... We may not get any new dwarves, so we probably should have that as a location. We have a dead dwarf. Oh, we have a tombstone here. That's right. Salone is there. Make memorial hall? Sure. Make it smaller than that, though. Make it a little memorial hall. Um, I want to make a custom stockpile. Actually, just we'll just do a food stockpile. All of my food <clears throat> is going to go in here. What are you doing, buddy? Karma Hound? No job. Well, get a job. Looks like that one's been taken apart. Why aren't you taking apart this one? Needs masonry. Does anyone have masonry? Where is masonry? It's over front. Close that. Yeah, here we go. Uh, yes, Wolf King has it. He's probably over here doing this, though. Hotkeys still work? Oh, check it out. My hotkeys still work on this place. Oh, nice. We got here we got Gribeye and Bore over there. Are these beds? There's a bed. Why is there two beds there? I don't know. And what is this animal? Yak bull. Uh, what? Uh, Dumid. The ghostly Marksdorf has risen and is haunting the fortress. Oh, well, that's great. 
probably going to have a lot of that, actually. We have an armadillo and, uh, yeah, and a ghost. Because we have a lot of dead dwarves. We're going to have to, like, uh, we're going to have to bury all these guys. We could throw them down here. I mean, we don't have room on the boat. I, I think the proper way we just, the proper barrel would just be throw them overboard. That seems like a way to do it. Oh, good. It's gone now. Okay. So, what we want to do is we want to remove that and that. And we're going to put a wall there. Yes, yes. I know people are dying. How do we do this without killing our dwarf? That's a good question. I'm going to put a hole in the side of the boat here. And then we're going to put our screw pump. Maybe we put a floor there. Screw pump there. Maybe we can, we can do the screw pump from above. I think you can do that. Carve this out. Put there's the ghost. Hey buddy, he just he's just watching. You know what we could do? We could set up. We have this uh this this stone over here. We just have like a whole a giant graveyard of, of these things just out here. <laughs> okay, those are done. Uh, we want to build a wall now. I don't know that we have any blocks. Oh, yeah, we do. We have... Oh, we have a billion logs, of course. Let's use a die, right? And put a wall there. All right, so there is now a, whoa, a hole in the boat. Uh, to build a screw pump, we need... Uh, what is it? We need we need pipe, and we need a corkscrew, which is... I think it has to be wooden. There's the ghost saying hello again. This is sort of my workshop area. we got a mechanic shop, a clother, a loom, crafts dwarf... Boyer, glass, wood furnace, leatherworks. Wood furnace, but I don't have any wood. We could probably fit the carpenter shop back here. Like right there. Everything's just so crammed in here. And we have our, our mason down this way. What was it? F5? F4. Okay, we're still working on taking all this apart. I don't know that we need to, though, right now. We're a little busy on everything else. That's fine. I just want a little bit of stone. Why are you walking so slow? Oh, because you got a log, uh, giant stone. Um, no one is down there, right? There's some gloves. There's a large thong. But there's no one else down this way. Oh, wa what? Water? Salt water? How did that happen? We like... It happened to me once before. I reclaimed a site and there was some water just like... A, water just appeared in one of my caverns. Um, we can go ahead and lock this. Hopefully that water doesn't, like, completely flood everything. What are the chances? If there's a cavern down there, I'm pretty sure there's a cavern down there. Then it shouldn't. Help me work here, ghost. Uh, let's go ahead and get the animals in a place. Um, oh, these are, these are still set up? I didn't realize that. The cow and the bull, and I forgot to grab chickens again. This is, what is this? I'm not sure what was there. So do I still have a, like, a refuse pile somewhere? You know where a refuse stockpile should be. We should just like throw it overboard. So let's make one. We'll just throw it. make a rack right here. Refuse. Which is... I'm missing garbage dump. D. There we go. So if we have any trash, we'll just throw it overboard. That's, that's the way to do it. It'll go down here, but that's okay. There used to be a dead body over here. I wonder what happened to him. Okay, is the carpenter shop done? Yes. Now, we want to make a... enormous wooden corkscrew. Yes. And a pipe section. 
we want to get um, build a floor here. We want to get a proper farming area inside. So I'm thinking we put the, the screw pump right here. And I think we can access it from the top. Otherwise, hopefully someone doesn't die for this. That would be a bummer. Okay, we have... Um, you're not making any blocks. We just don't have enough. We have, what? Seven dwarves. We need, we need more dwarves. Build blocks. Uh, and do it just repeatedly. I just need lots of blocks. This one clearly is a gold stockpile, so let's go ahead and make it official. Stone stockpile. That's fine. All the stone can go over there. Uh, oh, we need one for blocks. That's right. That's what I was doing. Bars and blocks, which is going to be B, which we'll set over here. And again, we're not on the boat, but I just don't want them walking all over the place. They can just grab them, toss them there. There we go. There's a, that's a block, apparently. It's like a marshmallow. Okay, and we want a door. We don't have any doors. This mason is very busy. Build me a door now. So we'll see if this works. This should work properly. Hopefully. We just found a dwarven child. Dead. A dwarven child has... What is this? Has, has. Why is there no finishing it up? What was that? Expedition leader cancels drink. Job item lost or destroyed. Oh, were you trying to go over here and grab a, a, a goblet maybe and it got washed away? There's a goblet right there. I bet you that's what's happening. Uh, let's go ahead and tear this thing apart. Since it's just sitting there getting washed away. What is this? Like a fence? Driftwood. What is this thing? Oh, somebody's mangled partial skeleton is right there. You can actually see it looks like a mangled skeleton. Oh, there's a few of them. They're getting washed around. I thought they were moving, but they're just getting washed around by the waves. <laughs> we really gotta move. We gotta get these guys buried. We're gonna save, because I'm gonna remember to save a lot. So we'll get to our carpenter shop. Those things might be done by now, and we'll see about getting the, the farming going. I would like to get farming going quickly so we can get a proper um, well farm going and get some booze up and running. We can worry about fresh water a little bit later, but as long as we get some farming and some booze, I think we'll be in better shape. Screw pump. We I guess we do have the stuff. We want it to go from west from from the west and needs to go here. Marble blocks. We got a yes, we have all the stuff that we need. Okay. And we get a door put in here. Did we build the door yet? Yes, we did. Right there. Hmm. What's this? Why? Unavailable complete the screw pump. Why? 